conducting a technical examination on me. First, let me ask that you do not bring pens or drinks or photocopies near me. These things can really damage my skin. So I appreciate you not doing that. To get started, please press my radio pulse. Obviously, I can talk. During our simulation training, you'll be able to ask me about my medical history and other things, like uh, favorite songs and TV shows. Notice the new microphones in my ears. I can hear everything you say, so please be nice. Do you find it warm in here? I'm sweating. I hope I'm not getting sick. In some situations, I may sweat. I'm counting on you to determine what's wrong with me. When I'm sad or in pain, I may cry. I hope you pick up on my emotion and ask me what's wrong. Uh-oh. What's happening? My oxygen saturation level is dropping. You see the value changing on the patient monitor? Look at my mouth. I'm becoming cyanotic. I lost it breathing faster. When this happens, I hope you'll take quick action to save me. I've reset my respiratory rate at SpO2 to their normal limits. Ah, uh, that feels better. Now, I'd like for you to check out my pupil response. Try to pin my intimate pupils that don't have the pupil size to accommodate the light. This is the neuro Pretty cool, huh? Click on my carotid pulse when you're ready to move to the next so This is what sets him apart from the other simulators, the fact that he can do this. It's a very cool feature to have.